Hi everyone, I am Shagun and I'm here with Abrar. Abrar uh, is in his BTEC first year and he worked on his personal project and he's also doing the uh, internship with us from last two to three months. So today he'll uh, be explaining the project that he worked on. So yes, Abrar, uh, you can uh, share your experience. First start with your introduction. All right, thank you. Uh, hey everyone, my name is Sheikh Abdullah Ahmed, and I'm from BDEC First Year, studying in Saint Mary's Group of Institutes. And uh, I have worked on my personal project. It was helping ants and community care. At starting, I started with the framework. Later in the framework, I have uh, chosen a problem statement. So my problem statement was that uh, people are not getting basic necessities of because of high experiences and all. So I came up with this idea because. Uh, as in this era, the expenses are very high. So the thing is, by seeing the surroundings, by uh, taking few of few other problem statements as well, I kept few parameters which was matching with the real world problems. So how you come up with this uh, particular problem statement? Because there are lots of problem statement to solve, but uh, you specifically choose this problem statement. So why you choose this problem statement? Okay, the thing is that uh, in my surroundings, I have seen such scenarios that people are starving themselves because of high expenses and all. I thought it was just a particular area problem. But when I researched about it, I got to know, no, it's not a particular area problem. It's happening worldwide. So I thought, why won't we uh, bring tech into this and uh, help with it? So with this idea and research, I came up with my problem statement. Okay, so you come up with a problem statement that you want to help people by giving them basic necessity. So what is the solution for it? What is are the technological solution that you created to solve this problem? Yes, uh, we have created an application named with Helping Ants in which what we are doing is we are connecting the receiver and donor. So we are decreasing the gap between the uh, donor and the receiver. Okay, so who is the donor here? What do you mean by donor and receiver here? So the donor is the one who will donate an item. For example, if I, have, if I have something which is sufficient for me, but even after getting sufficient, I'm lifting with something over. And the receiver, I'll donate something. I'll give it to someone. And the receiver is the one who will get the received uh, items from the person who is donating. Okay, so you are telling me if I have more things, I have more clothes, more things, I can donate it to someone. So I am yes. that donor and if someone have that necessity, they can come onto your application and they can receive it. So they can receive it by just having some delivery or something so that uh, we can check. So, so after you come up with a problem statement and solution, how you did analysis of that problem statement? Did you follow some framework? Or, uh, yes, what? Uh, followed a framework. First, the thing what I did is I took a problem statement. Mm -hmm. And after taking a problem statement, I thought whether is this a problem statement correct or not. Because there are a lot, of, as you said, there are a lot of problem statements which we can take. Right. But for that, what I did is I did a root cause analysis. I thought I did research. Is this problem statement really necessary? What mm -hmm. a problem this statement is solving exactly? Mm -hmm. So after doing this root cause analysis, I next moved with uh, user stories and all. Okay. So after you completed that user story, so finally you come up with a prototype uh, of your technology or the product that you wanted to build. So yes. you did it in uh, which tool? Did you come up with the wireframes or uh, direct put prototype uh, applic applications prototype? I did with the help of Figma in which first I created a wireframes and did a prototype of it, like a mock-up of my application. Okay, so you created mock-up of your application. So yes. is that mock-up available right now? Would you be able yes. to show it? In a moment, I'll, I'll share it with you. Hmm. So yeah. uh, this is, sorry. So this is my whole applications, how it looks like in wireframes. Okay, so why so don't you start, start with uh, the first screen, what you did first? Yes, the first thing which I did is login page. Hmm. And after getting as every applications, once you get logged in, the thing which uh, next we re redirect is this page. It's, uh, it asks you questions. It's like a user person, like are you a donor? Are you a sponsor? Are you a user? Hmm. 
So after doing this, for an example, if you're a donor, so after clicking on a donor, what you will do is you will get uh, to this page where you will fill up your details. So you are telling, uh, scroll up, uh, scroll up a bit. So you're telling in your application, there are three people who can use this application, three personas. One is donor, another one is sponsor, and a third one is user. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are telling if I log in as a donor, I'll redirect it to a form. Okay. Yes, to this form. Okay. Where we'll ask about your few basic details, like what's your name, address, mobile num number, and email. Hmm. After your basic details, like uh, we want to know what are the things you are donating. Like for example, if you are donating a cloth, hmm. you will drop an image here. And after dropping an image, you'll write a short description like it's in a cloth, so and so. And okay. after this, you'll drop your identification proof. Hmm. So after completing or filling up this form, you will click on donate. Okay, so I'll fill this form and I'll donate and uh, my uh, donation, uh, not donation request, whatever items that I want to donate, that would be posted on your page, okay? Yes. Once you donate it, you will get uh, a notification like you have donated so and so item okay. in your application itself. Hmm. And this part has been completed as the donor's responsibility. Hmm. Now it comes up with the user. For hmm. example, if you are a user, hmm. you log in through a user. And hmm. after logging through a user, you will come up to the home page where as of now we have just kept three necessities that is clothes, grocery, and gadgets. Okay. So as a donor has already donated and you want to check what are the items have been donated till now. Hmm. So you'll click on this icon and you'll redirect to a new page. Okay. This page. Hmm. So these are the items which has been donated till now. A user can see, yes, so and so item has been donated till now. And if his uh, requirements, if his necessities are matching with this donated item list, he can request an item. Mm -hmm. After requesting an item, he can see what are the items has been requested by a user till now. Okay, so I can also see what are the items that uh, I requested to get as a user. Yes. Okay. And you can see your status. Is it approved or it's waiting or it's cancelled? Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, if I log in as a sponsor. If you log in as a sponsor, as a sponsor, we'll not ask you much details. Mm -hmm. What the thing we do is, we'll directly, as a sponsor, sponsor thing is that uh, he'll sponsor a money. Okay. Or some sort of amount. So for that, we'll uh, give him some sort of a mobile number, or company email, where mm -hmm. we can contact in person with him. Okay. Okay, so you are uh, just giving that, uh, asking them for their contact number and uh, you can con contact with them in person, is it? Yes. You'll ask them that give me your contact number and after that you will just take his contact number and ask them in a person, okay? Exactly. Okay, Abrad, thank you for showing your prototype and Figma. It was really nice. You did a research on that. What is that form that is available? Full name, mobile update and all. Uh, this one last uh first row last uh no last last okay, this one yes as as i said uh it's our uh, application is focusing on necessities of peoples mm -hmm. in our application we are having two concepts okay. one is of donors donating things and another is affordability okay affordability hmm. yes this forms belongs for affordability part as we are focusing as of now we are focusing on donating items mm -hmm. So you are telling as of now you are in phase one, you are just focusing on donating the items, but in next phase in your uh, future uh, progress, if you want to do for your application, you would want to show the affordability of that item. So what, what do you exactly mean by the affordability of items here? What, what the thing affordability means here is, for example, if you want to buy something mm -hmm. in outside world, it's getting a much cost, mm -hmm. which is not, uh, matching our capability and so on. So what we are doing is, for an example, if I want to buy a wheat, wheat flour. Mm. So if I went, go to a shop, I'll get that five kg packet for nearly 300 or 400 rupees. Mm. This cost increases because of all the middlemans, the consumer, the first middleman, the second middleman, 
for at the starting at manufacture the cost will be set for 100 or 120 rupees mm -hmm. so the thing what happens is the manufacturer will sell to the first middleman mm -hmm. he will take up the margin and he'll send to the second uh, second middleman which will cost from 120 to it will raise as mm -hmm. 140 or 200 mm -hmm. from there it will come to the uh, our shop owners or supermarkets mm -hmm. where they'll keep some sort of margin for themselves and they'll sell that product for a more higher amount. Okay, so you are telling in the first phase, your helping hand product is helping the hands by giving the concept of donor and receiver. But in next phase, you're planning to help all the uh, people, all of the people in the society by giving them uh, the affordability in whatever things that they are buying by reducing the middleman cost that is available. Exactly. Is it? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you, Abrar, for showing your uh, Figma prototype. You can stop sharing your screen. Oh.